I yelled at my sister-in-law at my wedding and told her no one cares that she is pregnant, and I don't regret it. My husband, 30 male, and I, 26 female, got married during COVID. We couldn't have a big ceremony because of restrictions, and unfortunately my family couldn't be present as they live in a different country. With restrictions finally lifted, we decided to have a more traditional ceremony in my home country with my family. My husband's family came, his parents, some friends, cousins and his sister, 32 female, we'll call her Sarah, and her husband, 28 male, we'll call him Matt. Sarah and Matt live on the other side of the U.S. than the rest of the family. They had their wedding a couple of months back in their home state and ever since then when we have a conversation, even without our wedding coming up, Sarah would say that she and Matt are planning to get pregnant on the trip for my husband and I's wedding. No big deal, I just made sure to tell her that she needs to ovulate for that to happen, but other than that I could not care less. What started to get annoying, is when we were talking about all the activities and excursions people wanted to do so I could go ahead and book it, Sarah would always say, make sure there's enough time for Matt and I at the hotel so we can get busy making our baby. Again, kind of gross, a little annoying, but whatever, they are grown-ups. About a week before we all leave to go to my home country, Sarah and Matt arrive in our home state to spend time with family as they rarely see them. My husband and I, his parents, and my husband's brother and sister-in-law are sitting chatting, when Sarah blurts out she is pregnant. We all get really excited, congratulate them and saying how happy we are. We start asking some questions, and Sarah says she is two weeks pregnant. Everyone kind of loses a little bit of excitement and says wow, that's really early, we suggest to wait before telling other people, just as a lot can happen. People usually don't even know they are pregnant until at least six weeks, and even then they are encouraged to wait until after the first trimester to tell people. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law were very happy and excited for them, but cautioned them even more as they have experienced multiple miscarriages before having their first child. Matt replied by saying they are only telling the people closest to them, his parents, her parents and her siblings, no one else since it is so early. Well the next day, Sarah had called her great uncle and his wife over for drinks and decided to tell them too, called her one aunt and uncle and told them, and by the end of the day basically the entire extended family knew, as well as some of her mom's friends, which stopped by the house and Sarah told. With each person Sarah told Matt got more agitated, as they had agreed to only tell a select few people. Matt finally gave up and asked her why she doesn't just post it on Facebook as it will be quicker, to which she replied, she wants to, but she thinks it will be frowned upon. My husband came to me and said it feels like she is trying to draw the attention away from us and our wedding, as she is known to do anything and everything to have the spotlight on her. I said to not worry about it, as when we are in my home country, she isn't going to know many people so she won't say anything. He agreed, but went to his parents and told them what he was feeling, and asked if they could politely suggest that she keep it to herself when we left for the trip. They agreed that it was valid for him to feel that way, as they know she hates it if the focus is not on her. Anyway, we leave for the wedding and I see my mom for the second time in five years. Obviously it was a very emotional reunion, but we wiped off our tears quickly and sat down for a meal with my husband's family. After I introduced her to everyone, the waiter took our order and the first thing Sarah says to my mom is, your daughter probably already told you, but I won't be drinking this trip. My mom says that it's no problem, you don't have to drink to have fun, and that Sarah will still have fun, even if she chooses not to drink. Sarah interrupts my mom to tell her it's not by choice that she is not drinking, but that she is pregnant. Keep in mind this is 10 minutes after she met my mom, my mom says congratulations and keeps on with another conversation. Sarah interrupts my mom again and tells her how she is two weeks pregnant and just so excited. My mom, who is in medicine, then tells Sarah the same thing we did, that she should probably wait until she is in her second trimester to tell people, and Sarah completely ignores her. The same thing happens with my aunt, cousins, uncles, sister and grandparents, all of whom she had never met before. My husband yet again speaks to his parents and asks them to please tell her to keep it private because it feels as though she is purposefully trying to take the attention away from our wedding. They say they will talk to her. Matt actually comes up to us and apologizes, by saying he agrees that it has gotten out of hand and that the number of people that know is way more than the number they agreed upon. Fast forward, we are sitting eating while we wait for one of our excursions. A family that I lived with for three years when I first moved to my husband's country flew out for the wedding and met up with us for lunch. They have never met my sister-in-law. The wife and I are talking about the wedding and all the arrangements, while my sister-in-law sits across from us and listens to the conversation. My husband orders some shots for everyone at the table, when his mom says she doesn't want one so he tells the server minus one. My sister-in-law hears him ordering the shots and goes off yelling across the table. I can't drink alcohol. You know I can't drink a shot. Why would you order me one? Everyone kind of stops and looks at her for a second, before my husband says it's not a problem as Matt said he wants to. Everyone then continues their conversation including the wife and I. My sister-in-law interrupts me and continues to make a big fuss over how my husband ordered her alcohol when he knows she's not drinking. The wife then says it's okay because Matt said he'll drink it so it's not going to waste. My sister-in-law then says again how annoying it is that my husband ordered her a shot and I say to not worry about it, because I'll just drink it if Matt doesn't want it. She keeps doing this till I finally tell the wife, she's not drinking because she is pregnant. 
The wife says congratulations and asks how far she is and then also tells her to be careful of telling too many people. This situation happens about three more times in the week leading up to the wedding. Now this is why I might be the jerk. The last time it happened she was telling my high school friends at the wedding how sick she has been, but no one asked why she was sick, they were just empathetic and saying they hope she feels better. They came over to me to talk to me and she followed again complaining about how sick she has been, and kind of pushing them to ask why she has been feeling so sick, when I finally said, Sarah, are you kidding me? No one gives a shit that you are pregnant, they don't even know you. Sarah ran off crying and my mother-in-law heard me say that and told my father-in-law who screamed at my husband saying how we hurt Sarah's feelings and how she is just excited. My husband doesn't think I did anything wrong and my high school friends think I was fine too because they know the backstory. My mom and some of my husband's family think I was the jerk. So am I wrong for telling my sister-in-law that no one cares that she is pregnant?